Hello and welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, we are going to see how to install Jenkins on AWS EC2. We are going to launch an Amazon Linux machine and we will install Jenkins on it. Launch instance option here. I'm going to click on launch instance and fill in all the details. So I'm going to name it as Jenkins and we are going to use Amazon Linux AMI. Instance type T2 micro, you can increase it if you want. I'm going to go with T2 micro. Select the key pair. We are going to use this key pair because we will we are going to SSH into the instance. To connect to the instance, we will need a key pair. So I'm going to click on create a new key pair just to show you how to create a new key. So I can give it Jenkins key rsa.pem. If you're using Windows and you want to use putty, you can use .ppk. I have a Linux machine. I'm going to go with .pem. Click on create key pair and a private key should be downloaded. So I'm going to click on download and a private key is here. After you create a key pair, you can choose network settings. I'm going to use the default VPC, default subnet and existing security group. Whatever security group you use, make sure you have port 8080 enabled because Jenkins is working on port 8080. 8 GB of storage, is, which is more than enough. And now I'm going to click on launch instance. Once I click on launch instance, this instance should start creating. So initiated launch of an instance. Let's go to this instance and so now our instance is in running state. If I want to connect, I'm going to click on connect. We have all these different options to connect to our instance, instance connect, session manager, SSH client. I'm going to go with EC2 instance connect and click on connect option here. So it is now going to establish connection and we should be inside our Linux, Amazon Linux machine. So I'm here in my Amazon Linux to AMI. Let's start with Jenkins installation. To, gen to install Jenkins, first I'm going to update all my packages. So I'm going to run sudo yum update hyphen y. This is going to update all my packages so we don't have any packages to update. Add the Jenkins repo using this command. So adding the Jenkins re repo using this. So we have Jenkins repo saved here. Now I'm going to import the key file for Jenkins CI to enable installation from the package. So I'm going to paste this here which is going to import the key. Then I'm going to upgrade all my packages. So sudo yum upgrade. Now it's upgrading all the packages which has Jenkins and Jenkins primary DB. Once this is done, you need to install Java. So I'm going to install Java with OpenJDK 11. This should start installing Java in my machine. And once we install Java, we then can install our Jenkins. So Jenkins require Java installation. Make sure you have it before you install Jenkins. You can find all these different commands inside my description box. So you don't need to go anywhere or you can use the official Jenkins installation to do that. So once Java is installed, I can now run Jenkins command sudo yum install Jenkins hyphen y which is going to install Jenkins in our machine. And let's wait for it to be installed and then we can start the Jenkins machine. So it's installing Jenkins and now we have Jenkins installed. We can now start it. First I'm going to enable it. So sudo systemctl enable Jenkins and we have enabled it. Now I'm going to start the service. So sudo systemctl start Jenkins. Once it is started, you can check the status of this Jenkins service by running sudo systemctl status Jenkins. Okay, now that we have started the service, we can check the status by running sudo systemctl status Jenkins. It should give you that this Jenkins is active and running. Now you can paste, copy your IP address, public IP address, paste it in a new tab with port 80. 80, which should show you Jenkins uh, on this port. So now we are inside Jenkins. So this is if, if you get the same screen as me, which means you have successfully installed Jenkins. We can find the password at this path here. So I'm going to copy this path. Uh, check what is there inside this path. So sudo cat and the file. I'm going to get the password here. So this is the password we will require to log in into our assign it into our Jenkins. I'm going to paste that password and then click on continue option here. If the password is correct, you should be inside the Jenkins. You can now select the option. Uh, either go with install suggested plugins or select plugins to install. I'm going to go with install suggested plugins and scroll down. Okay. So this is get Jenkins is now getting started, which means we have successfully configured and installed Jenkins in our Amazon Linux AMI. Uh, this is how you install it. You can now start 
creating your bills and deploy your applications using Jenkins. If you have any questions, any doubt regarding this installation or configuration, you can let me know in the comment section and I will be there to help you. So if you have any issues like timeout error or anything, make sure you have security group with port 8080 enabled. If you don't have it, you might face issues like connection refused or uh, timeout error. Make sure you have it and Jenkins is going to run on 8080. Now I need to create an admin password and then I can start using my Jenkins. But this is, this is all I hope you understood on how to install Jenkins on your Amazon Linux machine. Let me know in the comment section and subscribe for more videos on AWS, DevOps and Cloud. Thank you. Have a good day.